Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we did not expect to do this video and somehow we missed this news last year. I, I just did a video earlier today talking about how Archie is going back to Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. Now Archie's also going to Webtoon. Cause who is it? Who is it? Is this what's going on? Is it like the entire mainstream industry just going to Webtoon all of a sudden? Oh, they're gonna take over webcomics now? Uh, yeah, probably. I mean the low hanging fruit like 10 years ago when you're like, oh, you know, amateur hour. They did the same thing with crowdfunding, not Archie in particular, but we had people that were you know, working in the industry that were like, well, if you were really good at comics, you, you would, a publisher would pick you up. And now That's all right. of a sudden, now they're going to Kickstarter, which is interesting because they were bullied off of Kickstarter in mm -hmm. 2015. But DC Comics, they, they're doing the Bat Family, Wayne Family, whatever the hell it's called, the whole bunch of Robins. Bunch of Robins, that's why I would call it. Yeah, that sounds actually more fun though. Bunch of Robins. And now Archie is also going to Webtoon. Uh, and apparently it was announced last year. I, I missed it. But So they they were they were there first. Yeah. They, they were there ahead of DC. They marked their territory first. So I gotta give a, a hat tip to Lock Ta on Twitter, who was like, hey, did you hear about Archie also going to Webtoon? And no, uh, I didn't, because this is freaking weird everybody mm -hmm. so where's the marvel webtoon where's the dark horse webtoon we uh, image I'll give already time has... but marvel was already going to no they're doing their own thing they're doing their own thing that's they're right doing, yeah so let's let's talk about that before we get into it any further please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants guys over two hundred thirty-five thousand subs uh, thank you so much for the support greatly appreciated we have been talking more about things like webtoon substack crowdfunding because the comic book industry is uh, changing and you probably have the pandemic partly to blame for that mm -hmm. because there was massive disruption. Now these publishers are like, oh shoot, we can't, you know. Yeah, let's go steal the other model we made fun of for years. Let's go steal all the other models we made fun of for years. So yeah, this is coming from ICV2 and apparently it was uh, announced last year that New York Comic Con. Oh, it's because it was New York Comic Con. We just weren't. Oh yeah, nobody was. Yeah. No one watched those those things. Yeah, it was it was uh, online and it was terrible. Um, I think but, we, but I think we talked about New York Comic Con for the most part was making fun of how bad the numbers were. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so like five people knew about this. But yeah, Archie Comics announced the original material was coming to Webtoon last fall. The significant word in the announcement was original because given the relatively simplistic style and layouts, uh, it'd be easy for Archie to just cut and paste panels. But no, they're actually committing to creating But it took them this long? Stuff. If they announced it last year and it took them like a year almost to, to get something on Webtoon? Maybe that's why, maybe they're maybe they're having money problems. Maybe that's why they're going to Kickstarter with... You know, I don't know. I, I because don't know. I'm like, someone like that, as someone who's done webcomics and things like that for Webtoon, it shouldn't have been that hard and shouldn't have taken that long. But okay. Yeah, so uh, here we go. Here's the, uh, the official announcement today on ICV2. That Big Ethel Energy... What? Big Ethel Energy? Big Ethel Energy is debuting on September 21st, almost a year after they announced it. Archie will debut its first original comic on the Webtoon webcomics platform. The first three episodes... It's only three of, episodes? Well, that's how they usually do it. They usually drop three at first. And no, but I like, mean, like, it took this long and they... Okay. It must be, maybe know. they have it completed. I don't know. So... Um, yeah, so Big Ethel Energy is coming. It's going live on September 21st. And new episodes will be posted weekly. Uh, the series will focus on Ethel Muggs, a.k.a. Big Ethel who in the early years of Archie was awkward, unattractive, and constantly trying to snare the heart of a decidedly uninterested jughead. She needs to dress up like a hamburger. That's right. Well, now they've made... I think she's cute. I was like, that character's really cute. Well, I was she was how cute she was. She wasn't. That's why I'm like, I wasn't... I'm like, is that... So, wait. Right? So, is this going to be she got hot and now she's going to try to win him over? I don't know. If but, so, I kind of want to read it. Let's go down. Okay, but the it thing is, like show is like. they actually made Jughead in Riverdale. I mean, there's a lot of weird shit going on. Oh, yeah, I heard. I don't watch that He's supposed to be asexual. He he only has eyes for, for burgers. Okay. So, um, wait. So, why her character has been soft over the years, she's often the butt of cruel jokes. Hey, I've been there, Ethel. I understand. Big Ethel energy focuses on her, her post-high school life. Having left Riverdale behind, Ethel is self-confident and happy in her career she has pursued. When the mayor of Riverdale hires her to write a history for home to, of her hometown, Ethel sees it as an opportunity to get some payback. Oh. I like this story. But to her surprise, she found out that Archie, Betty, Veronica, and the rest of Riverdale High School gang have also changed a lot since graduation day, which actually happens in the real life. It does. Archie commas is, okay, goes on the second major. I actually kind of want to read this. I low-key kind of want to see this. I like this story. This story appeals to me. They made fun of the versions come back for payback. I get that. I relate to that. This is like a this is like a rom com. I I know. This one I'm interested in. I'm so excited I hit the table. Okay, please don't suck. I kinda wanna see this one. 
Yeah, maybe this, this might get me to read comics. Well, yeah, I think that's what they're hoping. I think I think DC and and uh, Archie and whoever else jumps on this bandwagon is like, well, where are most of the comic book readers current year? It's like, oh, they're on, they're on. Well, I'm not, I'm sorry, not comic book reader, but comics readers. Uh, a lot of eyeballs on webtoons now. Whether or not they can translate that into uh, payments, uh, that's a whole. I don't other... know, but I kind of want to read this. And everyone that's peaks the... in high school. How many of you out there can relate to that? I know I sure as hell can. I got made fun. Oh my gosh, I got picked on so bad because I, I I told you guys before about my school, my class not having many kids in it, mm. and I was the only ginger. And oh my, I, there wasn't many of us gingers, and I got picked on so bad for being a redhead, and I got picked on for being chunky. And I mean, when I was in high school, this one kid to ask my mom put my face up for Halloween to scare trick or treaters. Um, later on, my senior year, he kept sitting behind me and braiding my hair. Uh, apparently, he changed his mind. But you know, it, it's just you know, I relate to this so much. So this one might actually be pretty good. Actually, to be to be completely fair, uh, what I read of the uh, the too many robins, it looked pretty good too. The art's actually pretty good. It's a cute premise. It, they, well, they have to appeal to this audience. Yeah, they're clearly designing these comics to appeal to webtoon readers. They're not for traditional comic book readers. And I'm more of a webtoon reader type audience than a traditional comic book. I know a lot of you guys out there are more traditional comic book people, and that's cool. I'm just I'm just not. Neon usually is. But. Yeah, it, it's um. So it's interesting. It's it's interesting to watch. I feel like part of me is like this is, you know, maybe too little, too late. Um, you know, they're they're basically like, hey, we're gonna give you free comics. Hopefully, you'll buy some comics, but you probably won't. Are we taking bets? Is she now like like girls now or something? I don't. I don't know. like Jack anymore. He turned me off of of men. I like women now. Idiots hey, don't catch. True Beauty is actually pretty good, guys. By the way. I watched the K drama and I was reading. I haven't read it for a while, but I was reading that webtoon. Yeah, I know uh, my giant nerd boyfriend's been pretty popular for. A really, while. I have to go read yeah. some of these. Yeah, uh, so webtoons. Have time to read. Yeah, webtoons is definitely uh, is definitely blown up. I remember when they were begging people to come onto the platform, begging them. Like mm -hmm. we, we used to be on there. Yeah, we did. We used to mirror the comic on there, but we, you know, we we, we talked about it before. We've got mm -hmm. other videos out there, but webtoon came in and basically killed off, you know, the web comics business model. Uh, and they centralized everything and they became like the YouTube of, of web comics. And it's either, you know, it's either you're on webtoon or you don't exist, you know, weirdly enough. But man, Snailology is still going. Snail Lords, that's one of the very first comics they had on there. We used to be on trending several times, actually, yeah, back in the day. Back in the day. Uh, but it's, you know, back it, few, several years ago. It is, it is very hard to monetize on webtoon unless you are... Uh, a paid creator or already have an existing audience. Um, you know, sometimes you get lucky, but you know, more Olympus that is, you know, few and far between. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's interesting to see the mainstream publishers go on the webtoon. Mm -hmm. hmm. It is. But now I kind of want to read this. I low key actually want to read it. I was like, okay, how is it going to be? And then I started reading the write up. I'm like, I like this. I, this is relatable. Okay. Well, there you go. It's relatable. So is uh, Too Many Robins. There you go. Wait, there's a webcomic contest for PS5? Oh, okay, this is Horizon. That's interesting. My, yeah, Squid King is a big fan of Horizon. It's as also, is my sister. It's also interesting they, they made her look like a girl. <laughs> so All right. <laughs> She's a ginger. All right. Anyway, we're going to wrap this one up. Yes. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.